welcome to engineers academy do hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time now let's solve this problem it says that if gear a rotates with an angular velocity of omega a equals to theta a plus one so the angular velocity of gear a is given as a function of its displacement theta a where theta a is the angular displacement of gear a measured in radians determine the angular acceleration of gear d so we are required to find alpha d when theta a is 3 radians starting from rest gear a b c and d have radii of 15 mm 50 mm 25 mm and 75 mm respectively now we are required to find alpha d when the angular displacement of gear a is 3 radians now as we know that the angular acceleration is d omega by dt and we can rearrange this and we can write that dt is d omega by d uh, by alpha sorry and we know that omega is d theta by dt and if we rearrange this so we get dt equals to d theta by omega so this is equal to dt and this is equal to dt so we can equate both of these equations so we can write that d theta by omega is equal to d omega by alpha and if we cross multiply so we can write that alpha d theta equals to omega d omega so when we eliminate dt we get this equation and we we have used this equation in the linear motion as well right so we we, we wrote this equation as a d s equal to v dv so this is that same equation but now in terms of the, the angular motion that is the angular acceleration and the angular displacement and the angular velocity so now if i write this equation for gear a for gear a we can write that alpha a d theta a equals to omega a d omega a now we can write that alpha a and d theta a and omega a is given in terms of theta a so we can write that omega a is theta a plus one and d omega a and similarly here we can replace omega a with theta a plus one as well so we will write that this is theta a plus one so this is alpha a d theta a equals to theta a plus one and we can apply this differential inside right so we can write that d theta a plus d into one so this will become zero this is the derivative of the constant so we will be left with alpha a d theta a theta a plus one and d theta and we can we can do this method uh, one another way we can write this equation as alpha a d theta a equals to omega a d omega a or we can write that alpha a if we divide both sides of equation by d theta a so we can write that this will be omega a d omega a divided by d theta a so now we we can write that omega a in terms of theta a is theta a plus one and this is d by d theta a and omega a is again theta a plus one so this is theta a plus one and the derivative of this will be d theta a divided by d theta that will give us one and d by d theta of one is zero so we can write this is d d theta a into theta a plus d d theta a into one so this is theta a plus one this will become one and that will become zero
so alpha a is equal to this will become one plus zero so one so that will be eliminated and we will get theta a equals to theta uh, alpha a equals to theta a plus one and similarly we get the same here as well if we divide both sides of equation by d theta a so this will cancel out and we'll be left with alpha a equals to theta a plus one and now this will be in radian per second square so now we got um the angular acceleration of gear a in terms of theta a now we, we want to find the angular acceleration of gear d when theta a is equal to 3 radians so when theta a is equal to 3 radians alpha a will be 3 plus 1 that is equal to 4 radian per second square and since gear a and gear b they are in contact with each other so the tangential uh, acceleration of both the gears will be equal so we can write the the, the tangential acceleration of gear a will be equal to the tangential acceleration of gear b or we can write that this will be r a into alpha a equals to r b into alpha b and alpha b will be equal to r a divided by r b into alpha a so r a is uh, 15 r b is 50 and alpha a is 4 radian per second square from here so 15 divided by 50 multiply 4 so alpha b is we can write that alpha b is 1.2 the radian per second square this is alpha b now as we can see that gear b and gear c they are on the same shaft so the the angular acceleration of gear c must be equals to um, alpha b and since uh, gear c and gear d they are in contact so their tangential acceleration must be equal so we can write that um, the tangential acceleration of gear d must be equal to the tangential acceleration of gear c and we can write that the tangential acceleration of gear d will be r d alpha d and that will be r c alpha c and we know that uh, alpha c is equal to alpha b since they are on the same shaft 1.2 radian per second square so now we can substitute alpha c here in this equation so we can find alpha d which is required we were we were asked to find the angular acceleration of gear d when uh, theta a equals to 3 radians so this will be r c divided by r d into alpha c now r c is 25 mm and r d is 75 so 25 divided by 75 into alpha c which is 1.2 so 25 divided by 75 multiply by 1.2 this gives us 0.4 so alpha d equals to 0 0.4 radian per second square so when theta a equals to 3 radians the angular acceleration of this gear d is 0 0.4 radian per second square so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning do subscribe engineers academy for such more problem solutions from vector uh, from engineering dynamics by hibler